Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to reflect the real world time inside the game world when I play the game. So now this is our uh, default light setup. You can see the sun over there. It looks like perhaps 10 a.m. in the morning. Actually we can see that. Ah, it's 3 p.m. Sorry. Yeah. So now uh, if I play the game, it would read the real time from the machine at the moment for me it's 9.43 p.m. Uh, so the light, so the time of day system will be changed to the real time. So let me play and show. So now you see the time is changed to 21.43 which is my current time. And as you can see moon is over there and you can see it's night time and this uh, campfires are automatically started because uh, it's the night time so yeah so and I have set the time to update along with the real time so now it becomes 944 you can see the time here I just added a print see so yeah that's what we are going to work on today reflecting the real world time of the local player's location uh, inside the game. So if I start the game tomorrow morning, the game will be having morning time inside the game as well. Okay, so first I'll open the time of day blueprint and here we have this increase increment time function so this is the function I call in a timer to update the time of day so in order to use real world time I'll simply add the boolean variable use real world time and I'll make this public so we can access it from here and enable or disable so if I enable real world time we don't really need to call this function in every point one second so here I'll do a select float with use real world time the boolean and here if true use real world time is true I'll just use one second so one call per second of this timer should be more than enough even that would be too much because in real world we don't really see the sun moving fast so it's very slow so we can't even we can even have something more than that but if we have something like a clock we would be seeing the time we would need to see the time so therefore I'll keep it at one second right and also in this increment time function which I call here so this is how I set the time at the moment so let me have a branch if I am to use real world time this is not how I should calculate it so if I'm not using real world time, I can go this way. Right. Now if I uh, if I need to use the real world time, here I'll get now. So we have two functions, now and UTC now. So this returns local date and time on this computer. This returns UTC date and time of this computer but for this we need it would be better to have 
the local date and time because uh, we want to reflect the real world time of the player who is playing the game currently. So I list this one. Let's play this. So we get all the data year, month, day, everything. I only need the hour and minute. I can't hide. Okay. So let's have set time. And time should be hour plus wait. If I just connect the hour, it would be here converted to a float. And also, we need the component that's coming from the mid. So add. So we need the minute as a decimal value. That means 60 minutes would be one, 30 minutes would be 0.5 because we are having a float number for the time here. So this divided by 60 convert to a float. right and this should go here for the time okay and uh, now to confirm we are getting the correct time let me add a print so I'll first show the hour and then minute and then I'll show this time also as a decimal value So, wait, I don't think I am able to use real world time, yeah. Okay, see, it says 21.38. Wait, why don't I have a space? Oh, right. Let me have some space here. Oh, hold on. Let's put something in between the hour and the minute. Also, in between the decimal representation. Now we should be clearly able to see that. See? 2139. And in decimal it says 2165 so if I show my current time it's 939 9 means turn 21 in 24 hour format and 39 is the uh, minutes how many minutes so it's working correctly and as you can see here now this is how we represent 9 p.m. 940 p.m in our game so if I open this game and play tomorrow morning we would have or oh, whatever the time we would have morning time so yeah the system is working and now you see it updated to 2140 so we don't really see much of a difference because it's a very small amount in the moment and also you can see the campfires are also lit because it's the night time automatically 
So yeah, that's the system. And I'm gonna stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.